Hi guys, what you're about to see is a edited coaching session that I ran with one of my subscribers, Paul. Paul has been um, a brilliant driver for his own development and he asked me to help him and I agreed on the basis that he let me share this with everybody else because I think that there's always things that one person needs help with that probably a lot more people help need help with as well. Now this coaching session followed an initial conversation we had and you'll see from what Paul says at the beginning um, that you know some he already started to apply some of the things that we talked about and some of the things that he's picked up from um, the channel as well as other my channel as well as other sources I'm sure um, but this was really good now I have edited out any personal details for um, data protection reasons and to protect Paul of course as well He's been massively brave allowing me to put this on. Paul, thank you very, very much. You've been brilliant and I will continue to help you and support you um, as, as a um, reciprocated favour to you. All right, now take care. I hope you all enjoy this. I will come back to you at the end. Here, um, called uh, which is about an hour from us. And they're called uh, for your own research purposes, if you'd like to have a peek. Yeah. But it was, I think what got me in there was a little bit of disarming honesty and humor. Right. Um, when I managed to, you know, get past the gatekeeper, you know, can I, can I speak to you, please? Um, and she said, sure, you know, I, I lucked out, but it's one of those like, oh no, I'm going to talk to the person. What do I do? Um <laughs> And I said, hi, I said, you know, is, I said, you're probably, it was along the lines of, I said, is it okay if I tell you why I'm calling? You know, and then if, you know, if I tell you and it makes sense to keep talking, will you give me 30 seconds? Fair enough. And I said, it went into my little elevator pitch of, you know, I provide a host of business services. They're executed by... Um, but you maybe have people that already do this. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know enough about your business, but I'd like to learn more. And that started the conversation, which led into, well, I'm moving and I'd like to go digital. And so, well, yes, that is a service we provide. Can right. you tell me a little bit more about what you want to do? What are your goals? And so, well, we, we want to speed up the way to find files. We want to maximize our office space because it's a tiny office here. And so there was something there. It looked like there was something there. So to get to the meeting point, I said, you know, the best way to do this is in person. Um, I don't know if you'd be up for me meeting you. I'd wear a mask. It's, it depends on your comfort level. But if you've got your calendar handly, handy, I'll open Outlook and we can take a look. Yeah. And so we agreed on the time yesterday and sat down with them, asked what their expectations were um, in our world for documents. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. So you can see all how yeah, every you. step of that really worked. It did, yeah. Um, and but also it was it was good timing, but if I didn't ask the right questions, if they thought, well, this guy's a jerk. You know, exactly. they would have yes. gone and called somebody else. Well, exactly. And I think this is what we had a little chat about last time where, you know, we would, first of all, what you did from what I'm hearing, the first thing that you did that was perfect was you didn't try to make conversation with the wrong person. Remember, it was about yes. <laughs> get straight to the, you know, go straight to the person that yeah. you're looking to speak to. That's important. And, you, and from what you've just said, that's exactly what you did. So, yeah. so that, yeah, and that was great. And then you said you had that moment of, what am I going to say? <laughs> yeah, and how do I come across? Brilliant. But the, the point is that you were thinking about it. And if you're thinking about it and you're conscious of it, that means that you're ready for it. And so, um, you know, going to that next person, to the person that actually makes the decisions 
is exactly as you did. It's about asking questions about them because we talked about that. Make it about them, and 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 you know when when you know when somebody applies all of that like you did, you can so see the results of it straight away. So you you actually don't need me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I want more, I want more big wins. <laughs> but you've literally just taken everything I would have said, and and you've you've applied everything, and you know, and this is this is when I just feel so happy about speaking to people to help them because. It makes it worthwhile when somebody takes what you're saying on board and then really thinks it through, makes it their own, and then makes it work. You know? Well, you- yeah, and a lot of, you know, yeah, it was elements that I've pulled from some of the, the things that I've begun to learn from you. You know, and like you said, I, I try to remember, though, what you've been teaching me about, you know, there's something about you. You know, it put you into the call that uniqueness that is you and that might get them on board. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. I did the best I could to apply that. Well, absolutely. You know, this is it. And I listen to you and you're very personable. There's no reason why somebody would, would, you know, avoid having a conversation with you or would um, reject having a conversation with you because you don't have anything at all that is threatening. You are simply having a conversation and too many people forget that that's what it's about it's just a conversation you know if you put somebody at ease enough on the phone enough to be able to think okay I'll listen to this person because I like the sound of them and I don't think this person is going to push me if I say no right so you know and and that's what it is because we're all we're all frightened to be bombarded into a sale (laughs) you know guards come up and we suddenly start thinking, oh, God, I don't want to hear this because I don't want to buy anything. Uh, I don't want to be trapped into something that I don't want. And that's just human nature. It really is. But when you come across as somebody who, you know, I'm not going to push you. You can talk to me. I'm completely open and as vulnerable as you are. And um, that makes people, you know, it puts them at ease and it makes them want to share information with you. And like we said before, you know, if it's about them, it's a it's an easier conversation for them to have. So well done and congratulations on that big win. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's, it's in gonna... the process, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? <laughs> oh, we're, we're um I think you know we can you can watch me hunt, you can watch me prospect, you can coach me through. Um okay. because everybody sings great in the shower. <laughs> you know, but now my mentor is here, you know, so it's like, oh, I want to, I want to show her what I can do, not just talk about it. Yeah, so, show the world. Yeah. yeah, but I've got, you know, I have my CRM up if you want to take a look at it, but I also, I have the lead list that I use um, as I go through um, to, to check them all. Do it the okay. way you do it, Paul, and I'll, I'm going to literally head down and listen um, if you can put it on loudspeaker, it makes it easier. I will, yes. Um, hopefully. Long intro. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Uh, hi. Um, I was trying to get in touch uh, with Albert if he was available. I'm sorry, who? Um, I've got, I'm looking at Albert, uh, and I'm about to butcher this gentleman's last name. Forgive me. Uh, Okay, so you're looking at some very old information. Ah. He, was, uh, he was one of our former presidents. He has not been in the college for about eight years. Wow, so, yeah. so um, what are you trying to accomplish? Uh, I was hoping to talk to somebody in his position or perhaps in operations about any business services that you may outsource. Uh, I'm with a local company. Okay. Uh, and I was hoping to chat with him about that. Uh, clearly, I've okay. been waiting too long. Well, but. <laughs> yeah, our, 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 um, yeah, our uh, president now is um, and I don't know that that kind of activity would go through her. 
Um, probably it would go through our vice president of administration and finance. Mm -hmm. um, he manages all of our contracts and things like that. So let me go ahead and give you um, his administrative assistant's email address. We're all still working remotely. So I don't have a phone number for her, but I can give you her email address and you can introduce yourself that way. Thank you. That'd be very generous of you. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Her name is correct. I will tell you any services that we um, contract with must be in. I, I would venture to say you guys are. I mean, that's oh, yeah. Yeah. Thing. To ride around the corner from what that thing, and they yeah, yeah, we had a uh, yeah, yeah, we had a facility up yeah. there, but yes, we are in. The neat thing okay. is, and you may know this, but since the state law applies to us as an employment service organization, it doesn't okay. have to go through. Um, but that's the, you know that's something I'll talk about. Yeah, yeah, she's she's definitely a great person. Like I said, she oversees a lot of those contracts. So, um, yeah, just have a conversation with her and then um, determine, you know, next steps at that point. Well, that that's great. Thank you so much. You've been really generous with your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Have a great day. Uh, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, Mr. Gregory, thank you so much. Okay, at least that one was productive. <laughs> Wow. Well, okay. So you always, okay. First of all, always look for the positives because otherwise um, you make cold calling really difficult for yourself. Um, I saw loads of positives in that. What did you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Can you tell me. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, certainly. So um, this conversation started out friendly. It kept going, yes. you know, and even though, it was not the person that I talked to or initially set out to talk to. Okay, don't freak out. Well, maybe you can help me out if that's okay. You know, sort of, or the tone of asking permission. Yeah. Um, and then she gave me the information that I'm looking for. Yes. You know, yeah. And it's somebody that you know, might work uh, out. And she even let me know about, hey, you may need this. And that was a great positive. She said, I assume you need, you have it, but just in case, you, you know you need to be registered in this state law portal, right? Oh yeah, we are. Um, and so now I have an email to craft with your guidance later on after the calls. Yeah. Um, and so those are the positives that I took out of it. Great, okay. Lots of positives. Um, I, I, you did pretty much what I would have done. You asked immediately for the right person. When you got the wrong person, one of the reasons that she carried on talking to you was because you were very open and candid about the fact that you had old data. Yeah. So quite often I always say, look, I don't know if this person's still there, but I've got Alvin on my, you know, I've got so-and-so on my <laughs> books. Um, and, and you had a really nice Ice breaking moment there where you both were able to laugh about the fact. And that was because you were very open and honest. And this is what I keep saying over and over again. It is so important to be open. Up. Get straight to the point. I had a call again today where somebody said, you know, hi, I'm, how are you today? It doesn't work, does it? It's just who you yeah. want to talk to. Just go there, you know? So um, so that was really good. Um, the, the rapport, you got lots of good information, useful information, which for me means that was a successful call for you because now you know where you've got to go. You're making headway. You're chipping away at this account and you'll get there. The one question I have for you is who were you talking to? Uh, I did not get that information. Okay. on the call okay. so i had i have my assumptions but i didn't get the information okay so it will become more apparent when we write the email but i'm going to tell you at this stage that if you had a name that is a familiar name to them and you're able to put that in your email yeah then it's you're almost a warm person to talk to Right. So it's really important. So that's the one thing I think I would say to you next time. Just, you know, we all do it. You all forget. But as long as you remember next oh, time, sure. 
Yeah. I've got to um, always ask who you're speaking to. And if you keep in your mind now that I'm going to have to write an email and that email will go so much better if I say, hi, I just had a conversation with. Right. But you can't say that now because we don't have the name. No, I can't. But that would be so much warmer. It's like, oh, he he did talk to this person. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, good stuff. So that's the one to remember. Do you want to write that email now? 